My whole body's in goosebumps right now, and I don't know whether to feel happy or angry because seven years of digging out shrubs with axes, swinging wildly like a caveman, sweating in the blistering heat, trying to remove you shrubs. Now finally, there's a day, and the day is today. This Milwaukee battery-powered Sawzall combined with a Ford F-150 and a high-tension tree rope with a carabiner has turned something that normally takes a long damn time to something that has become a piece of cake. I look to the sky and I ponder how stupid I have been. Shake the dirt off of each one. Carabiner. It's got a double knot, or it could be called a, like a double anchor knot. It's 26 kilonewton. So you just, instead of tying knots, there's no knots in this system. I have another video on YouTube about this. You gotta have a good rope. Carabiner from Home Depot. It's gotta be heavy duty like this. Wrap it around. Now, it's not really good to put it around the base of the shrub, depending on the size of the shrub. You wanna put it like maybe six or eight inches higher. So it's like a fulcrum. Some people use a, a tire rim because it wraps around the tire rim and pulls up. And then you just go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it ain't going nowhere. And then once you wrap the un get the shrub out, you don't have to untie a knot. You could just unwrap it and then go to the next one. Now watch. All I was doing is clipping it. Clip. Done. Can you do this in a backyard? I don't think so. I don't slam the gas. You start yanking. Because if you break the rope or something, somebody could get hurt. The rope could snap and go through the window or the clasp could break and smack against the back of your truck. Breaking and blowing out the back window of the truck or the shrub breaking free and popping and like exploding. <laughs> what I do from this point is I just tap the gas and just rock back and forth. So what you're doing is you're making the shrub go like this and you're just working it. And every time you do that, it's getting it a little bit more. Is it out? It's out. I didn't even do anything. I just went forward. <laughs> and the thing just went pluck. Now we pimp it. Now when you back up, Make sure you don't run over your ropey. Cause then you have to pull forward and get the ropey out from under the tire. And then you can get this little system now where you're just in the truck and hopping out with the rope and then you got your guy going from shrub to shrub and then you just go next, 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 next. And then what used to take you two days now takes you two hours and the customer's like, this isn't even fair. I just paid you like a like thousand dollars and you were only here for two and a half hours. You say, well listen, you weren't there when I was there for five years swinging an axe and trying to figure all this out. Something as simple and as stupid. It's not stupid, it's simple, but it's not easy. As removing shrubs with proper technique can take you to a whole new level in your business. Next, already? You're on the next one, all right, Dave. Got out of the truck while I was still in drive and it yanked the whole shrub out. Look at this. We gotta kick these rocks away. minutes and we already have four shrubs out and we're actually picking up the pace now that we got a system down <laughs> I bet you I'm not even lying we'll probably do one shrub per minute Ow. turn on notifications so you get notified next time I upload a video and if you want to check out my brand new book that just came out your first year in the landscaping business it's on audible.com too it's actually a very powerful book <laughs>